In this example, uh, we want to find the maximum profit uh, for this application problem. So we're given a company that, that makes two substitute products whose demand functions are given by x1 and x2, uh, where p1 and p2 are the prices per unit in terms of dollars, and x1 and x2 are the numbers of units sold. The cost of producing the two products are 50 cents and 75 cents per unit respectively. So we want to find the prices that will yield a maximum profit. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to find our profit function first. Okay, and our profit function will be in terms of p1 and p2. So recall, okay, recall that the profit function, all right, or the profit is equal to the revenue minus cost. Okay, so first we're going to find the cost function, then we'll find the uh, revenue function, then we'll take the difference, and that will give us the prof profit function. So our cost function, okay, so let's call that C. The cost is going to be, uh, we have 50 cent and 75% per unit. So the cost is going to be 50 cent, 50 cents times x1 plus 75 cents times x2. So that gives us the amount that is required to to make this product. Okay. So this is going to. So then we're going to substitute in x1. So we have 200 times p2 minus 200 times p1 plus 0 0.75 times x2. Okay, so now let's simplify this. So we're going to distribute one half. So that's going to give us 100 times P2 minus 100 times P1. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and distribute 0.75. So it's going to give us plus 375 plus 75 P1 minus 135 P2. Okay, so that is the cost function, okay, and we can go ahead and combine like terms here. So we get 375 minus uh, 25 P1 minus 35 P2, okay. So that's our cost function. So now let's find the revenue function. So the revenue is how much they are... Uh, how much they're getting okay all right so the total amount that's being received okay so that is going to be the the, the price okay so p1 so the price per unit times the number of units sold for that particular item so that's going to be p1 times x1 and then the same thing for p2 okay Okay, so then substituting x1 and x2, okay, so we have p1 times x1 okay, 200p2 minus 200p1 okay, and then plus p2 times 500 plus 100p1 minus 180p2 okay so now we go ahead and simplify this okay so this is going to give us uh, 200p p1 p2 minus 200p1 squared plus 500 P2 plus 100 P1 P2 minus 180 P2 squared. Okay, combining like terms we're going to get minus 200 P squared or P1 squared 
minus 180 P2 squared plus 300 P1 P2 plus 500 P2 okay so that is the that is the revenue function okay so we have the cost function and the revenue function both in terms of P1 and P2 now we can find the profit so the profit is just the revenue minus the cost so that's profit is how much they are they're keeping okay all right so taking the difference okay so we have the revenue function I take that and subtract right? take this revenue minus the cost So taking the difference, that's going to give us minus 200 P1 squared minus 180 P2 squared plus 300 P1 times P2 plus 535 P2 plus 5P, uh, actually, sorry. That's going to be uh, 25 P1 minus 375. Okay. All right. So now, so we have our, okay, so we have our pro, uh, profit, fu uh, profit function. So we want to find the prices that will yield a maximum profit. So we need to take the partial of P1. I'm sorry, the partial of pro the profit function with respect to P1 and with respect to P2. Okay, so partial P with respect to P1 so that's going to give us uh, minus 400 P1, okay. So remember we take uh, P1 will be the it's the variable and P2 we're treating as a constant okay so for 180 P2 squared that's going to give us uh, whether the derivative of that respect to P1 is going to be zero so then the next thing we get is uh, 300 times P2 uh, the derivative of 535 P2 will be zero with respect to P1 and then we get uh, 25 okay now we need to take the partial P with respect to P2. So 200 or minus 200 P1 squared with respect to the derivative of that respect to P2 will be zero. Um, the next one we have 180 P2 squared. So the derivative of that respect to P2 is going to be minus 360 P2. And then we have uh, 300 okay, P1. And then the derivative of 535 times P2 with respect to the derivative of that respect to P2 will be 535. Okay. So now from here, okay, we need to solve for P1 and P2. Okay. So we need to set each of these equal. Okay. So actually, okay. Okay, so set the partials equal to zero. Okay, then solve for P1 and P2. So we have a system of equations here, two, uh, basically two, two equations, two unknowns. So there's various ways we can solve this. You can use substitution, you can use elimination, or you can use even use matrices so I'll let y'all do that okay so you should be able to do this should be able to solve this system so we end up getting okay uh, p1 turns out to be approximately uh, three dollars and fourteen cents and p2 is going to be 
uh, four dollars and ten cents. Okay. So those are the uh, price. Those are the prices. Okay, that will uh, give us maximum profit. Okay. Okay. So, so I'll let you all solve for that system. Okay. It's just use elimination or substitution or even matrices. Okay. And you should also verify that this is a maximum. Okay. And you can do that using the uh, using what we did in the previous uh, videos. Okay, what what I showed you there using the uh, uh, using the derivative test. Okay. Okay, but this is our this is what we need. Okay, so this will this will give us our maximum. Uh, these prices will give us our maximum profit. Okay.